Hello students, I hope that you are fine and well. Today I am going to explain the next topic that is Snell Sala and Refractive Index under chapter Refraction of Light. In my previous video I have taught you the laws of refraction and I have I explained the two laws of refraction in which the first law is if there are if a light travels from rare to the denser medium then at the point of incidence the incident ray refracted ray and normal always lie on the same plane and the second law which is also known as the Snell's law and according to the Snell's the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction is always constant and it can be written as sine i upon sine r is equal to constant and this constant is known as refractive index which is represented by n or mu okay Let's consider for a given pair of media, there are two medium, suppose it's medium first, which is rarer medium and this is medium second, which is the denser medium. A ray of light is travel from the rarer to the denser medium, then at the when it travels from the rarer to the denser medium, it bends towards the normal. Okay. So, so for medium first and second, it can be the refractive index can be written as sine i upon sine r is equal to n to 1 or mu to 1 or we can write 1 and 2 okay this refractive index is known as the refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium okay this is uh, called the refractive in index of second medium with respect to first medium. It's clear. Now, there may be two cases. Now, the first case if the first medium is air, medium first is air, and medium second is glass then then the ratio of sin the ratio of sin i upon sin r can be written as the refractive index of glass with respect to air it can be written as refractive index of glass with respect to air it's clear now the second case if the light travels from from vacuum to the glass then the ratio of sine i upon sine r can be written as the refractive index of glass with respect to vacuum or simply we can write n g or which is the refractive index of glass because the refractive index of vacuum is taken as 1 okay now the unit of refractive index unit of refractive index so there is no unit or we can say that refractive index is unitless because 
refractive index of a medium is pure number so it has no unit it's clear so i hope that you have understood the topic snell's law and refractive index thanks and have a nice day